Hi, I'm Chad Wunderlich with Viking Pump, and this is part four of our five-part series on seals. Now, so far, I've kept this very simple by talking about packing, Opro, and lip seals. Today, I'm going to tackle the much larger topic of mechanical seals. You're watching the Pump Report. Of all the seals I've covered so far, mechanical seals are the most complex, but I'll try to stick to the basics here. Mechanical seals consist of two basic parts called faces. One face rotates with the shaft, while a second is held stationary in the pump housing. The primary seal is created between these two seal faces. The seal faces are lapped to a smooth finish. Dry, they don't seal well, but add a little liquid and a hydrodynamic liquid film is created to create the seal and lubricate the faces. A spring, or set of springs, helps to hold the seal faces together, and O-rings, bellows, or gaskets provide secondary seals to prevent leakage past the gland or along the shaft. This particular seal is an example of a single component seal. Again, there are too many varieties to list in this short video, but here are some commonly used options for Viking pumps. Cartridge seals. Here, all of the working parts of the seal are contained in a preset assembly, making the seal much easier to install. Double seals. Here, two mechanical seals are utilized with a liquid barrier between. This prevents exposure of the liquid to the environment and is favored for toxic, flammable, or difficult to seal liquids. I know I'm just scratching the surface, but I hope this has helped to at least explain the basics of mechanical seal operation. So far, everything I've discussed, from packing to mechanical seals, would be classified as a dynamic seal. So next up, I'll be discussing sealless pumps, a type of pump where no dynamic seal is used. To learn more about seals, or to view other pump reports, please visit our website at vikingpump.com.